Some of the best science in my mind, some of the science I find most interesting, is almost like art. That, that sense of awe that um, you can instill in other people, I think is, is beautiful. I study perceptual psychology, and I'm particularly interested in perceptual skills that we're unaware of having. The examples with sensory impaired individuals are fascinating, and in some cases, you know, the most dramatic. I've known for a long time an individual named Daniel Kish. He was blind from birth, but one thing he's able to do is to hike and to ride mountain bikes through mountain trails. And some of his other blind friends are able to perform the skill the same way. The way they do it is called human echolocation. They make a click sound with their tongue. It'll bounce off trees and shrubs and maybe boulders that are in their way and they are able to determine where they are relative to those things, but they don't experience it as a difference in sound. They just have a feeling that these things are out there. They actually use the vacant part of their brains, the visual cortex, to process the information from the echoes. This notion of cross-sensory plasticity is one of the, I think, most exciting things that we've learned about uh, the brain. But I think what's most exciting is that cross-sensory plasticity is something that's possibly going on for all of us all the time. Our senses are always working together. We are perceiving things we didn't know we're perceiving. We have perceptual superpowers almost. This is something that is uh, available to every brain, every person. The thing that distinguishes a Daniel Kish from the rest of us is practice. I mean, that's just amazing to me. When I was doing research for my book, I talked to a magic teacher about sleight of hand magic, and I fell in love. One of the things that attracts me to magic is also one of the things that attracts me to the type of science that I really enjoy, and that's the sense of awe it gives people. I do enjoy a little sleight of hand. Is that your card? Yes. <laughs> I enjoy tricks where things seem to appear out of nowhere. I like shaking up what we think we understand. And of course, I'm always thinking of what the perceptual psychology is that allows tricks to work. Some of my most enjoyable experiences are when I do magic for my colleagues. You take a card, if you would. As it turns out, uh, scientists can sometimes be the easiest ones to fool. They're looking so hard at what they think they should be looking at that they don't realize that uh, the trick is based on something very different. I will always take science a little bit more seriously than magic, but at the core, that sense of awe is what attracted me to both. Ah, there it is. <laughs>